Here are two top takeaways that I learned from meeting a billionaire, a real life billionaire, someone who's worth over $5 billion. So just a few days ago, um, I was out on a Sunday and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw our story. Uh, me and my wife were out having dinner at the Satai Hotel at their restaurant, Ocean View, uh, Ocean Grill. And as we were sitting down, my wife was like, oh my God, this cute, this, this dog is so cute. Can you please ask this gentleman what it's called? I was like, man, just look, I'm enjoying my old fashion. I'm enjoying the views, just let me be, you know? And then all of a sudden at, you know, kind of at the corner of my eye, I turn around and I see this guy carrying the dog, walking towards us and he's completely smiling. And he's like, where are you from? You know, I love that mustache. He's got this thick ass accent. And I'm like, well, you know, you know I'm originally from Iraq, but lived in uh, San Diego for the last 14 years. And a conversation just kept on going. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. But if this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing and also do me a favor and destroy that thumbs up button because it truly helps us rank in the algorithm. So then we started talking and then, you know, he's originally from Israel, but they used to live in Iraq back in the 50s. And, you know, he called his wife over and his daughter-in-law and then we all started talking and stuff like that. And we're having a conversation and he's asking, well, how long have you lived in Miami? I'm like, well, for about a year. He's like, what brought you here? And I'm telling him how, you know, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. So I moved across country and, uh, uh, um, you know, just kind of tell him a little bit about myself. And then I'm like, well, what about you? Or, you know, what, what are you doing here? He's like, yeah, well, you know, this is my hotel. And then he keeps going. Like he goes on with the conversation. And for me, in my mind, I got stuck at this is my hotel. We're talking about the largest and the tallest hotel on Miami Beach, over 30 floors high, brand new hotel that just opened up a few years ago, probably worth a few hundred million dollars. And, and then he tells me how they've got like three other locations around the world. And he's telling me about, you know, next time you travel here, you should come visit and stuff like that. But the biggest takeaway that I took from that conversation, about a 15 minute conversation that I had with a complete stranger who's a billionaire, he just met me and then he stood with me for 15 minutes having a conversation while bringing his wife, while bringing his daughter-in-law and all of us talking together. So the very first thing was money doesn't change you. And I'm pretty sure you guys have probably heard this. It magnifies who you are. So I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this often. You know, people, this person made money and they, they changed. They're a completely different person. I don't even recognize this person anymore. You know, when they were poor, where they were living in my hometown, they were this other person and now they're this person. person money does not change people. What money does is simply puts a magnifying glass on who they really are. If deep down inside, if you are a good human being, if you are, you know, like to help others, if you like to give back, if you are a great parent, if you are a great wife, if you are an awesome son or whatever, money will only make you more of that person. If you are a complete asshole and you don't give a shit about anybody else and, and, and all that, you know, when you are living in the hood and, and nobody knows who you are, your impact only is on two, three people. But then when you've got a few million dollars in the bank, your impact on, is on many people. And again, money does not change who you are. It just magnifies you. And after talking for about 15 minutes with this guy, I just completely realized that, you know, He's had a few drinks. He's like smiling and having a good time. He's got like things stuck in his teeth. He doesn't give a shit. He's carrying his dog around. He's like walking around, a cheap t-shirt, cheap shorts, some flip-flops. He's hanging out on a Sunday with his family, right? This is a billionaire. This guy probably got hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. I want to be him one day. You know, he's an older gentleman, but again, he took the time to come and talk to us bringing his wife, bringing his daughter-in-law and all that. And then after we saw him in the hallway, they stopped again and then, you know, just kind of talking to us and so on. But again, because that's probably who he was. And I'm pretty sure if he was poor and he did not have anything, he would be exactly the same person. It's just now he could do it on a bigger scale, right? And this is what I'm realizing about myself. 
the, the more money I make, the less simple I want my life to be. The less, the more kiss I am. Keep it simple, stupid. The more, you know, uh, uh, um, the less materialistic things I want. When I did not have money, I wanted to buy, you know, Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. But then the more money I started making, I stopped. I, I you know, my, my caring about this kind of stuff started becoming less and less and less. Caring about what people think about me became less and less and less. And, 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 and caring about what I want and how comfortable I want to be and how making people happy and impacting people's lives, that started becoming more and more and more important for me because looking back at my childhood, I always cared about helping other people. I always actually really cared about helping people where sometimes I used to get mad because a friend would come to me and say, hey Bashar, I've got this problem where I have this thing where I lost this toy and then like I would be there like digging and trying to find it and then I see them like aunt is doing something else and I'd get pissed like, dude, I'm here. Like I, I care about your thing more than you care about it and I would get so pissed. So now that I have more money, it just magnifies who I truly am. So if you believe that you are changing because you're making more money, or if you believe that someone you know has changed because now they have more money, money did not change them. Money just made them more of who they are. The second thing is you can learn from everyone. You can learn from anyone. Now, there's a caveat to this, but regardless who it is, Every single one of us has had a unique experience in life. You've had a unique experience in life. I've had a unique experience in life. We can both learn from each other, right? Maybe you can learn more from me or vice versa. Just because I make more money than you does not mean that I cannot learn from you. Some of you maybe make more money than me. That does not mean you cannot learn from me, right? So it's very important that you go into every and in, in any situation with an open mind and completely realize that anyone on the other end can teach you something. And unfortunately, I was very arrogant in my early years when I started making money and kind of more money than the average person. Once I surpassed 10, then $20,000 per month and it just became obvious to me that the average Joe doesn't make 10, $20,000 a month. And then I, every time I approach the conversation, I realize that, oh shit, I make more money than everyone else in the room. That means I am the expert, I need to preach. And then I realize that, you know what? These people have some really important stuff that they want to say, but I'm not even giving them a chance to speak. So now I created a rule where I listen two times as much as I speak and try that. Next time you go in a conversation, listen more than you speak. And oftentimes what happens is we just want to interrupt people because we believe that what we're trying to say is more important than what they are trying to say. We try to like complete their sentences because we just want them to shut the hell up so that way we can start talking. Or sometimes what happens is we'd be talking and then they do that, they cut us off, but then we start cutting them off and it's like, no, 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 and we start going back. No, just stop. That's fine, they cut you off, that's cool. Just put on the brakes and then step back for a second and let them talk, let them finish. Because everybody, can teach you something because everybody has had a unique experience. And the reason why I realized that meeting him because he sat there and he started listening to me. I went into the conversation and I quickly realized this is a billionaire, I need to listen. So right away, my brain was like, okay, we need to shift. We need to put on the brakes on talking, ask questions and shut up and listen. And then although he was pretty tipsy, he realized that very quickly because he's an intelligent human being. And then he started asking me questions. And then he started, and then he got me to talk. And then I would sit and watch his eyes and his facial impressions when I started talking about, you know, how I, like he started asking me about my business and what I do for a living. And then once I started giving him, I stopped. Because that's another thing is, sometimes we just start preaching, thinking that the other person on the other end really is curious about what we want to say. But 99.9% it, it, of the times, that's not the case. They're only interested about what they want to talk about. And we're all interested about what we want to talk about. But we must change that and become interested in what they want to talk about. Although they might not be interested in what we want to talk about, but we must allow them an, a, a chance to speak. So he realized that and he started asking me questions. And then I started talking. And then I started realizing that, holy shit, this billionaire that's worth hundreds of times more than I am is literally listening to what I have to say. 
And then he started asking me questions like, oh, I like that. Where did you learn that from? Oh, I like that. What, you know, what are some books that you suggest that I would read that I can learn about that? Where can I learn more about this? And I'm just thinking to myself, is this guy serious right now? Like, this is someone that could like buy me out without even thinking about it. His bank account wouldn't even like ding or anything. But again, because you can learn from anyone. And obviously he has realized that because that's why he's a billionaire and I'm not yet, right? So it's very important, those two things that you understand. Number one, money does not change who you are. Money only magnifies who you are. So if you ever get into making a lot of money and then start, your, start seeing your behavior change and say, oh, well, that's normal because now I make more money. No, that's not it. It's who you always have been. It's just now you're doing it at a bigger scale. And then the second thing is allow people to talk. Do invest in this skill of listening twice as much as you speak and simply because you can learn from everybody. Outside of that, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If there's any questions that I, we can answer, please drop them in the, in the chat below. Outside of that, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Take care.